For folks in Tangipahoe Parish, it's tradition. My mom used to take us to doctor's appointments here, and it was a tradition to come and see Hard Hide any time we made it down into Ponchatoula. Now Madeline Tillman is passing it down to her daughter. We're just coming to take our last peek and wish our girl the best. Capturing the memories because Hard Hide won't be there much longer. There are some gators that are still alive on that uh, family facility and uh, Hard Hide has gone back to that facility to live out the remaining part of our life and hopefully uh, live to be happy. According to T. Mike Kleber, Hard Hide is one of many gators that hatched in his grandfather's hands 65 years ago. She's living past her uh, expected age and uh, hopes she continues to, to live. Her health is good as, as we found out on an evaluation the other day. The evaluation and move from her enclosure comes after the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries received a complaint about Hard Hide's health in early December. In a statement, the department said the alligator did have an injury and it was determined that the display was not suitable for winter months. According to the Country Markets Board of Directors, the display is part of their property, but the city feeds the gator. We just, we just want the best for the alligator. We never, ever reached out to anybody to have her removed or to do something with her or to have her, I can't even say that, we would never ask for her to be euthanized. That's off the table now that she has a clean bill of health and a promise from the Klee Bears she'll be moved. All that's left to do now is say see you later, alligator. She means a lot to these guys especially the little one. According to City Hall, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is working with them on guidance for a new enclosure. I hope that they upgrade the habitat and um, get something for a possible alligator in the future. I mean, our alligator is like our mascot to this town. A community rallying around a gator. It doesn't get more Louisiana than that. In Ponchatoula, Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News.